Hello, Munting Plantitas and Plantitos! This is your Munting Plantita, Rafaela. Join me as I teach you how to plant succulents in a terrarium and the importance of having a sustainable living environment by using them. Are you ready, Munting Plantitas and Plantitos? Welcome to Rafa's Green Thumb Vlog! A terrarium is a sealable glass container containing soil and plants. It can be open for maintenance to access the plants inside. There are two types of terrarium, the open and closed terrariums. A terrarium has a lot of benefits for you and me. It provides a confined space for a mini garden. Terrariums do not need to be watered often. You can unleash your creativity and explore your limitless decorative potential, just like my terrarium. It purifies the air, and of course, as we all know, the plants are scientifically proven to reduce stress and anxiety. Now that we know what is a terrarium and its benefits, let us create an evolution of the earth same terrarium, wherein dinosaurs became extinct and mammals started to roam the earth. Are you excited? Let us start creating our evolution of the earth same terrarium. But wait! We need a blueprint that will help us arrange the succulents in our glass container. I will be using a measuring tape to measure the glass container for my terrarium. The width of the glass container is 31 centimeters or 12 inches. The length of the glass container is 16 centimeters or 6 inches. And the height of the glass container is 21.5 centimeters or 8.25 inches. In making a terrarium, we will need 1 inch layer of rocks, 1 half inch layer of charcoal, and the potting soil should be half full of the container. Now that we know the measurements of the glass container and the required measurements of rocks, charcoal, and potting soil, we will now know how much rocks, potting soil, and charcoal we will need. In this kind of glass container, we will need two packs of rocks, one half or 0.5 water dipper of charcoal, and two and a half or 2.5 water dipper of potting soil. In order to get the measurements of the potting soil, we have to add the measurements of the rocks and the charcoal to get 1.5 inches. In order to get the remaining measurements of the glass container, we have to subtract the height of the glass container, which is 8.25 inches, with 1.5 inches to get 6.75 inches. But wait! The required amount of potting soil is half full of the container, so we need to divide 6.75 by 2 to get 3.375. In order to know if the plants will fit in the remaining 3.375 inches, we have to measure them. For example, the Santa Maria Baculalis is... 17 inches or 43.5 centimeters. And the plant measures 10 centimeters or 4 inches. The dome measures 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters. The LED plant measures 3 inches or 8 centimeters. The dome adult VE measures 2 inches or 6 centimeters. The calancho measures 8 centimeters or 3 inches. The variegated elephant bush measures 2 inches or 6 centimeters. Let us now start making an evolution of the earth theme there are you. The layer of rocks, about 1 inch at the bottom of the glass container, and a half inch thick layer of charcoal. Put the container half full of potting soil. Put the plants from your pots. Here we see their roots out, so they will be nice in the area. And I will close the front door. Lastly, water the plants. Finally, our hard work has paid off. Presenting to you my evolution of the earth theme there are you. In order for the succulents to survive in an open terrarium, we have to follow ways on how to care for them. They need to be in a bright spot where they will get indirect light. Do not put them on hot windows during summer. Use a spray mister to water the plants. Water the plants once in 3 to 6 weeks. Wipe down the glass using a dry cloth after watering to prevent watermarks. Terrarium is a great learning tool for us munting plantitas and plantitas. It can be made in any setting, big or small, open or closed terrarium. It is usually made for learning about habitats, ecosystems, and biology. It's what we call a tiny plant ecosystem, built in a bottle or any glass container. It teaches us the plant's life cycle, how to care for earth, and how organisms are interacting with each other. For all, this helps our munting plantitos and plantitas raise awareness of the earth and know how important it is to maintain harmony in our ecosystem. As far as handmade decor goes, terrariums are one of the most low-cost, low-maintenance items you can create at home to resell. Because of its rising popularity, terrariums as a steady income stream has its advantages. The cost to build a terrarium is relatively nominal. Depending on what craft items you already have on hand, purchasing all the elements of a terrarium 
would not put a serious debt in your wallet. Terrariums are portable. You can sell them online and offline at markets and fairs. Don't need to be a DIY master to create terrariums. Learning how to create a terrarium is very simple and easy. Terrariums are completely customizable. You create unique little ecosystems using different plants, soils, and decorative items. It is so easy to take care of terrariums, right? But before we end our green thumb video, let me just share one last plant fact. Did you know that singing or talking to plants help them grow? That reminds me, I have a song to sing for my plants. Let's see what we can do to save the planet for me and you. Let's see what we can do to save the planet for me and you. E A A R T A H Planet Earth is a happy place. Na 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 na. E is for environment. T is clean. If we stand together, we'll make the best team. A is for the animals that we love, swimming and walking and flying above. R is for recycle or use it again. Separate your trash into the right bin. T is for traveling every day. Leave the car and rather walk this way. H is for humans, that's what we are. If we work together, we can go so far. E A R T H Planet Earth is a happy place. Let's see what we can do to save the planet for me and you. Let's see what we can do to save the planet for me and you.